in this video we will learn about flags and program status word of 8051 for that let's assume that we have written a piece of code in which we are adding two numbers number 1 and number 2 we are adding these two and later we are testing we are testing is some greater than 256 this is the task we have got let us say number 1 is equal to 128 and number 2 is equal to 130 and when we add these two numbers in decimal we will get 258 and we can easily say that the sum is greater than 256 but how does this happen in machine level 128 is converted into its binary equivalent which is nothing but 1000000000 zero, 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 zero. and binary equivalent of 138 is 1000000 zero, 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 one, zero. and 8051 adds these two numbers 0 plus is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 0 0 0 0 0 and 1 plus 1 is 0 and we'll get a carry bit of 1 and we know that 8051 is of 8 bits long and if we consider only 8 bits we may never get the right answer when sum exceeds 256 so what can we do here is 8051 provides a way to store this bit and that is called as flag so flags are one bit registers flags are one bit registers which are used to store the result of certain operations and the next task is how can we test is some greater than 256 or not we will simply feed two numbers n1 and n2 to microcontroller it sums up and later we can go and test these flags if the flag is set then we can say that the sum is greater than 256 or else the sum is not greater than 256 fair enough and the next question is is this the only flag we have and where can we find these flags to answer this no carry flag is not the only flag we have got some more flags and all these flags are grouped together in a special function register called program status word which is abbreviated as PSW program status word is of 8 bits long It's of 8 bits long, 0 to 7, which makes 8 bits. And in the 7th bit, we have got carry flag. We have just learned about carry flag. And in the 6th position, we have got auxiliary carry flag. For that, let us consider, let us consider two numbers, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 1 1 sorry 1 0 1 1 when we add these two numbers we will get 0 1 is 1 1 1 is 0 get the carry 1 here it is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 we'll get the carry 1 is 1 1 0 1 auxiliary carry flag is set it is set to 1 when there is a carry from lower nibble to higher nibble or from bit 3 to bit 4 I'll I'll start counting bits from 0 so it is bit 3 in this case if there is a bit if there is a carry from bit 3 to bit 4 or from lower nibble to higher nibble then auxiliary carry flag is set or else it is not set auxiliary carry flag plays a very important role 
in case of BCD arithmetic. When we consider BCD arithmetic, we'll see about auxiliary carry flag in detail. For time being, we'll just know that we have got something called auxiliary carry flag. And that flag is set when there is a carry from lower nibble to higher nibble. And the next flag is we have got F0, which is user, user flag. If programmer wants to store one bit of data onto PSW, he can he can do so. This is about user defined flag. Then we have got the next two bits are RS1 and RS0. We know that 8051 has four banks of registers. And how to select those different four banks? We can do so using these two bits. When we write 00, zero onto RS1 and RS0, that means we have selected bank 0. If these two bits are 0, 1, then we have selected bank 1. If these two bits are 1, 0, then we have selected bank 2. If these two bits are 1, 1, then we have selected bank 3. This was about RS1 and RS0. Then we have got overflow flag OV. Overflow flag plays a very important role in case of signed arithmetic. Again, we'll consider overflow flag in detail when we'll see about signed arithmetic. For time being, we'll know that we have got something called overflow flag. And this bit is left unused. It is left for future purpose. And the last bit or is parity flag. To understand this, consider this number 10100100. Parity flag is set to 1 when we have got odd number of 1s. In this case, number of 1s is 3, which is an odd number. It checks for number of 1s. If we have got odd number of 1s, then parity flag is set, or else it is set to 0. Uh, to understand that, we'll take one more number, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. In this case, we have got even number of 1s, and hence parity flag is set to 0. This was about flags and program status word of 8051.